What's good, people? From the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you all for being here. 2,500 is not a small number at all. I mean, think about it. If someone handed you 2,500 $1 bills, you thinking, oh yeah, I can put gas in my car. You know what I'm saying? So, to each and every one of you that watch the videos, leave comments, share the videos and whatnot, and hell, even to those of you that subscribe to the second channel as well, the one where I stream at, yeah, thank y'all, man. And even if you watch the video but don't comment, at least you watched. So, do any of y'all remember the uh, Random Moments in Vigor series? I kind of shied away from those because I kind of replaced them with the live commentary. But, hey, seeing as how this is a special occasion, I'd figured I'd bring back the video, or a video in the series, just for y'all. So what you're going to see is, as the title says, Random Moments in Vigor. Now, I will say this, this is not all season 20. I want to say the oldest clip I got in this here video is from August of 2023. So, nothing here is recent. Nothing at all. But I will try to give y'all some context. So, I want to say this was when I was uh, getting frustrated by the M21. And I said, you know what? If you can't beat them, join them. And so that's what I did. If you didn't see that guy initially, don't worry. Here is him up close. You know, people, I want to make these videos fun in terms of editing, but so much stuff happens and I don't have enough songs in my phone to put over. And, you know, it, it's kind of hard to make these videos edited. But then again, my encounters aren't really that edited, too. So I guess we'll keep the theme consistent. So now I got a VSS on my back, right? Cool. Not a good secondary, but a secondary nonetheless. And yes, I did just see a guy right there. I sure did. So I am going to do the smart thing and run straight toward a guy with an M21 and a VSS. Yes, I said a smart thing. Right now, his attention is on the container. He shouldn't hear anyone coming up behind him. Unless he has in headphones. But, you know, I have in headphones. Which means I can hear someone who's behind me. Okay, people, for this next part, I'm not going to say anything. I just want you to realize that someone is firing with a suppressed weapon right in front of me. I can't see them. Last year, there are no tracers, so I don't know where they're firing from. I just want y'all to realize that someone is here with a suppressed weapon. Okay? Cool.
What killed me, you might ask? The game. Hit registration. What's funny is, back then, that was considered a rare shot. Now, in season 20, that's normal. So here we have, you know, just a regular old game on Fisk. Let's see what happens. So the match starts and, you know, there's a guy right there. And me, with an AKM, not knowing how to aim with the AKM, is going to miss every single shot, well, except for like two that I fire at this man. Now look, you just got fired at and hit. What would you do? Would you A, keep running, B, hide inside of a store, or C, hide in the bush and wait for the guy to run past you and then you gun him down? What would you do? Well, here's what this guy did. And it's around about this point when I realized just how inaccurate the AKM can be up close. So I told myself, you know what, bro? Let me take it easy because there was a lot of ammunition spent. And I need to figure out how to use this gun on the fly. Well, that's kind of hard to do when no one's shooting at you, right? But uh, as I get stuck on a rock and collect some exit pass fuel, what if I told you... You can learn how to use a gun on the fly by shooting at people that already see you but have not shot at you yet. I'm going to take this time out in the video to say if you're still watching, you're a real one because I'm not done yet. We're going to skip forward to roughly the end of the match. So here I am running, and you see, or you saw, the uh, error message on the left-hand side of my screen. I'm getting some severe lag. Look around me, don't see anybody, don't hear anybody. But all of a sudden, my screen goes red. And now I'm back here behind the RV, there's a guy right there, and I have no health left. Guess what happens? Death. Take a good look at this here lobby screen. Notice anyone who sticks out. Yeah, that's right. The guy in green. Remember him, people. Remember him.
people, I sincerely miss this version of the FG42. Because I don't know what they're doing with this gun now, but back then, this thing just made sense. And yes, that was the guy that started the video. So we're going to skip forward here. And I didn't catch the last part of this here game because the file corrupted. So we're going to have to settle for this. Guys, I miss the FG-42 so much. And for our final clip in this here's audio-visual extravaganza, we have some stereotypical field cutting gameplay. Yes, it's daytime. Yes, I have a rifle. But no, it's not an M82. It's an L96. So, I was trying to decide which one I like more, L96 or, or M82. So, you know how that turned out. So you can clearly see, there's a guy with an airdrop in here. In here. Like, in the barred house. In here. And then I get ported. So I'm like, okay, this guy now knows where I'm at. Let me go ahead and, you know, double tick on which way I want to go. Then decide on the way. And come over here. Now you see, all I have on me is a rifle. One shot to the chest, and they're gone. And he's right there. Yes, my dear people, I want to say even in season 20, you can still shoot through plywood and stuff like that. You still can. But, like I said, he's right there. And you all wonder why I walk around with my gun holstered on my back. If he didn't let his, uh, his damn shotgun barrel clip through the plywood, I would have never known he was there. Or well, not there exactly, but I knew he was there because even I could hear the footsteps over the sound of me talking. So yes, he was right there. And I left the airdrop behind because, well, I have no use for it. So I'm going to, you know, do some stereotypical field cutting gameplay and loot the Bard house or the Bard house safe or I guess Bard cavern safe. Re-equip my secondary, and then proceed to exfil the area. One thing about war is that you never leave out the way you came out. Or you never leave out the way you came in. There you go. Make sure your entrance and your exit are two different places. I learned that while watching a uh, war documentary. So I'll apply that tactic here. I'll go ahead and break daylight. Boom. I'm outside. Someone's in the container. I'm going to go over here, place a transmitter. And then go over there and figure out what the hell going on. Where was that guy out, you may ask? On the ground. And I ran straight past him. Stereotypical field hunting gameplay. Thanks for the 2,500 subs and I'll see y'all next time. Until then, peace.